Hi everyone. Um, I've missed a couple of days, so apologies for that. I'm now on day five. As you can see, I've got a nice pimple that's showed up. <laughs> but that's a good sign, I guess, because uh, it means some of the rubbish is coming out. Um, so how have I found it? Uh, well, I, I said to on day two that I was actually struggling um, emotionally. Uh, but it turns out I was having women's time of the month as well so that's probably why and it also explains why I felt um, kind of extra hungry this time it's so strange because normally you know I maybe get uh, hunger pangs in the first couple of days first maybe three days but even into day five I've still been feeling like the munchies um, so not my usual but I definitely have my energy back I managed to do uh, yoga and some rebounding yesterday and I felt really good after it so if anyone is um, you know struggling even if you're not you should definitely do some yoga it helps to get you uh, your mind balanced as well as your body and um, I did the rebounding afterwards uh, it was actually fun. It was quite fun, even though, um, like I said, Matt, you know, I'm not feeling like I usually feel, um, but it actually was quite a good laugh. So, uh, so I recommend doing that. Um, so, what else have I got to say? I don't think there's much to say about the last couple of days, just um, because my energy didn't really come back till yesterday. Uh, I know some of the other girls have been having similar things going on with us. Some of them have had energy straight away from day one. Um, so I want to talk about this detox, why I'm doing it this time round. Um, yeah, sort of, I like to try and do this at least twice in a year, if not three times in a year. And I want to see how long I can go on juice. Um, with the hunger pangs, that's going to be proven to be kind of difficult, I think. I'm hoping they subside soon. Uh, but yeah, overall I'm enjoying it. Uh, I really want to start taking more care of my skin and taking more care of my body. And because you know, I'm like, I mean, me like everybody else, even though I know about this stuff, still get really busy, still have to deal with Ella, take her out of school, make her food, um, you know, still have to do my business, still have to go out and about buying things and meeting people and being in places and you know sometimes life can be quite stressful and I think that lots of us get to that place and what the feeling that I want to get which I haven't quite gotten yet is usually when we detox and we start to find an inner place of balance and it doesn't have to just be through food but food is a can be a massive trigger because um, the more processed foods that we eat, we sort of numb all the sensations in our body. You know, we numb all the parts. I believe that we have um, areas in the body that process information, not just our mind. I think we do it on a body level. And all our cells are speaking to each other at all times. And when we get really clean inside, we can then pick up on the information from outside. You know, we can follow um, the little breadcrumbs of synchronicities that we need to much more easily than when we're deadened, you know, biting lots of processed dead food we become sort of dead inside um, and we don't pick up on those one other way is to go out into nature another way is um, yoga like I said you know it's focusing on the breathing and the movement and it calms and stills the mind meditation is another one if you combine all these things together then you're flying you know especially if you've got a nice view on a beach <laughs> which I was quite like at the moment um, or a hill I'd love a hill you know, maybe that's because I come from Scotland and I used to be surrounded by hills. Um, so that's the main aim for me is to find that space because I find that um, I can think more clearly, I'm tuned in, tapped in, uh, I, you know, I feel more of a joy for life from that space. So yeah, um, so things I'm going to do this week <coughs> are, um, I'm going to, oh, one thing I'll show you very quickly. I bought some enema herbs. Um, I did my first enema this week because I'm so behind. I did it, uh, not yesterday, but the day before, I think it was. 
<laughs> I can't even remember, so busy. And felt much better after it, amazing after it. Um, and I feel like I'm due another one. So I bought these Enema herbs, which I haven't actually tried yet. It says it has in it chamomile, raspberry leaf, cloves, and burdock root. Um, just kind of felt like I wanted to try something a bit different. I used to use dandelion tea a lot um, and different things, which I haven't done for a while. Um, so I'm going to try that later on, and I will update you and let you know if you feel any different. Yeah, it might not uh, work the first time, but we'll see. Because I don't you know. Um, and I'm also going to start doing different things for skin care. Um, I'd like to start doing some homemade face masks, so I might do a video with some kind of silly green avocado mask on or something. <laughs> anyway, I need to head off uh, now, but please let me know how you're all getting on. It was nice to catch up with uh, Emma and Gwen in the video. Tiffany, I've seen your video is there, but I haven't watched it yet because I, I just couldn't get it to play for some reason. I've had a bit of trouble. Um, Anyway, so we'll do another one later on this evening, and it'd be great if everyone else on the detox can, you know, join in with their video diaries. It just helps us all to connect and sort of integrate with each other a little bit better, and that's part of the reason why this group works so well, because we're all sort of like-minded and on the same course. Uh, so I'm actually really enjoying that part of it. All right, I shall speak to you soon, people. Bye.